decided to do a really quick and simple uh, tutorial today for this blog and um, I hope you guys like it um, I actually requested on Facebook hey you guys have any ideas for some simple t tutorials that I can do for you um, <laughs> well one came up fantasy tiger well I've done a lot of fantasy tigers already so you know let's go with something a little bit different another person put up the love child of an alien and predator combined. It's like, okay, that's a little complex. I don't think I'd be able to do that as a simple tutorial. So, I posted it on the face and body painting group on Facebook, and I got from um, Justine or Mohan. Uh, I hope I'm saying that right. She wanted to see either a dolphin, a dragon, a gray or white skull mask. Thing. So, um, I'm going to do a white skull mask with horns, okay? Now, bear with me, I have a new setup here, so it's not very easy for me to um, position myself, and I have my mirror right here. So, I'll be using my mirror, which you'll be able to see, as I'm doing my face and I'll probably have it over here so it makes it a little bit easier since I'm right handed okay hopefully you'll be able to see the whole thing um, I can adjust the light just enough so that you can get everything you need to see and um, yes it will fluctuate <laughs> as you see dark light dark light but um and you probably couldn't hear that but, uh, alright, so what I'm going to do is first I'm going to apply a white base. So I'm going to take my sponge right here, make sure there's no hairs on it for some reason. I'm going to pick up some Diamond Effects white, or this is Wolf. I usually use Diamond Effects, I'm out. I've used it so much, I'm out completely. I'm waiting on a package to come in. Hopefully it'll be here within the next week and a half. Hint, hint. So, I pick up my white. And now, I'm going to create a mask. It's not going to be a full face. It's not going to be all over. It's just going to be a mask. But it's going to look really, really cool when I'm done, okay? So, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to outline... brow bones and the cheekbones where I want them using the sponge to do all this and filling in the parts that need to be filled in of course you're not going to fill in your eyes because your eyes are going to be painted black. But you want to get all the parts that are going to be white, white. thought it would be easier teaching you with uh, white right now than, you know, gray. That way you really get the understanding. And I'm going to paint the nose. And the part where the teeth go. Okay. Now I'm just dabbing to make sure that everything is nice and even. 
okay? Now that I have the mask part, all right, I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to take a little bit of white. I'm going to take just a tad bit of black. So I make a nice gray color. Then I'm going to take this. I'm going to do a little swipe to create a horn. I'm going to do another one up there. One right there. One right there. I'm also going to take, I'm going to make a horn right down on the side. I know it doesn't look like much. Wait until I'm done with the outlines because that's the biggest part. Alright, since this is simple there's not going to be a lot of shading. Most of it's just going to be the outline. So I'm going to go ahead and take my black and my number six round brush. Okay. In case you're wondering, I found these really cheap. I'm very impressed with them. They are watercolor brushes. They are Simply Simmons Watercolor Round number 6. I got them for $4 a piece on sale at this one art store. And I almost bought them out of all their sizes. Um, simple fact, it is a... Uh, very good brush. I don't know why they have it on sale. I guess other artists don't like it. But as a face painter, I'm loving this brush incredibly. So, now that I have this, now i got to do all the outlines and stuff. So the first thing I do is I'm going to do the eye sockets. Be careful when going under a child's eye. Most of them don't know how to, you know, not blink like we do. Just fill in that whole area black. Okay. your other eye. Fill it in as good as possible. Okay, now we're going to pick up a little bit of black and we're going to make the outlines and stuff. So the first thing we want to do is we want to do the brow ridge. Just like so. And then we're going to do the um, cheekbone area. We're just going to do it right up to where that horn is. We're going to take these lines down. So we're just outlining real quick. Make sure you guys can see what I'm doing. Okay. 
Now for the horn parts. Okay, that's one horn. two horns. I'm going to shade them in just a little bit. Using just a couple little strokes that kind of follow the shape. It doesn't have to look too perfect. So now I've gotten the horns, the outlines. Now I got to do the nose and the teeth and do a couple little more details. And this should be a good mask for you. Now I know it takes a lot of time when I'm talking, but you'll be able to do the same thing a lot faster once you get this down. So let me do the nose real quick. Start off with a little V. Then you're going to fill this in. Okay, and as I showed you in another video about teeth, Now using a slightly dry brush, we're going to go ahead and add in some detail.
You can add in detail any which way you want, anywhere you want, however you want it. It doesn't have to conform to the norm. This is your creation. You can do whatever you want to it. So, you be as imaginative as possible. And you can create all kinds of things. Now one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create kind of a wash. I'm going to take a little bit of black, a little bit of water, and I'm just going to create a wash. A wash is not high color, it's just watered down paint on your brush. And with this, we're going to outline the mask. And when you get to the horns, To make them look like they're lifted, you're not actually going to touch them right underneath. And you're just going to take this wash, and you're going to create your own little shadows. There you go. You can always take your finger and you can fan out that. Shadow. Kind of smudge it in. So it looks more realistic. You don't want to have it too harsh of a line. So you just want to smudge it. To get rid of that harshness. And there you go. You have a nice little mask with horns, skull mask. Real quick, simple to do, easy to design. Um, hope you liked it. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, and that's my tutorial for today. Very simple, very easy, very quick. Under 20 minutes for me, under 10 minutes for you once you get it down pat. So, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Watch out for uh, this Wednesday's video. It's going to be long and informative, and you get to see me clean my room. <laughs> Thumbs up if you like this video. Thanks very much, guys. See you Wednesday.